Hey, how goes it? So, welcome back to some Dragomon Hunter. Uh, I've been playing a little bit. Got some stuff. Learned some things. I can press Alt-H to hide my HUD, which is really nice for cinematic things and for showing you guys some stuff. Um, real quick though, I got some new mounts. Check this guy out. I got one of them. Oh god, there's some like phasing through people and things. Look at this guy. Look at this guy with his little pink clover in his mouth. What a... Like, that guy's a badass. He's got, like, a bunny sword thing? I don't even know what's going on. But yeah, let's, uh, let's just take a step over here. So I got one of these. It's cool. Uh, I got... A porcupine. Look at this guy showing off back here with his big fucking dragon. Yeah, I know, I've only got a porcupine. Don't worry about it. It's gotta be a dick. But yeah, I got one of these green porcupines. They're pretty cool. Oh, jeez, I rolled. That was unintentional. There's just too many people here. I'm right next to the bank, so I can put these back when I'm done. But I got one of these guys. They're pretty cool. Uh, and I got one of these... I actually really like these reindeer thing. Or It's not even, It's like a ram plant. It's like a go-goat. From Pokemon. But uh, it's really cool. I like how it has like a almost dog-like face. It reminds me of um, the thing from um, Princess Mononoke, the Miyazaki film, the forced god thing, but more cool looking. I actually really like this guy, I think he's very neat. But um, I don't know what to go with, I like the crab. This guy's cool, but I think everybody has these guys. Look at him, he's pretty sick. Uh, ooh, I like how I'm like surfing on this. It's like, there's nowhere to properly sit. That guy's naked. He knows what's up. There's nowhere to properly sit on a porcupine, so you just gotta surf on them. Um, but honestly, I really like this thing. I think it looks really cool. I like all the detail and the texturing. I might keep this guy. Look at this motherfucker. With his fucking dragon thing. I'm gonna get some really cool mounts later. Um, I also have some temporary mounts. We're gonna play around with those later. I might actually sell them. Um... Dropping off or picking up? I am dropping off. Let's see. I got a lot of these things. I've got like a, um... Can I like... No, I can't. I wanted to see if it would show me what they look like. But I've got uh, some like fish thing. Some mantises. Uh, a frog. I got another frog up here. I need to see later if I can sell these things. This is a green frog. This is a red frog with a mushroom on its back. It's just a different variant. It's pretty cool. Uh, I got a wingress, which you guys saw... And um, I got one of those furry rhino things. So, and that's all pretty cool. But these are all temporary. They're only the one day. If you see down at the bottom, uh, it says duration one day. You don't get them permanently. So what I think I'm going to do instead is I can take these to the ranch and keep them forever, I think. I'm not positive how that works. I'm still working that stuff out. That shouldn't be glowing. All right. So we're going to keep the uh, the reindeer. Or, I don't know why I keep saying reindeer. It's a... A ram. It's pretty cool. The What's it called? A vinehorn ram. That's pretty neat. Um, so from last episode, you guys noticed I leveled up quite a bit. Um, I'm not even positive where I left off, but I had like five minutes left of footage after episode two, and it was all really boring stuff. So I just cut it. You guys didn't miss much. Um, got myself some new, uh, new badass looking fang dagger things. Uh, I got myself a new outfit. I found out that the outfits are completely separate from the rest of your armor. I just had to pay attention a little bit more. Um, did a lot of quests. I'm level 26 now. Uh, I need to bind my ram. And yeah, we have a couple of quests that we're going to be doing here, which is actually perfect because it's exactly the kind of thing I wanted to show off some more epic fights. We have a fight coming up soon that is going to be, um, hopefully against the boss. So, fuck it, we're just going to go do that right now. Um, I expect to get a ton of mail invites, or like mail messages from people selling gold, because that happens a lot in this little plaza, but I still love how there's just so many people everywhere right there. It feels very old MMO. Well, also I found out these players with this. Looks the like you have mail. Oh, there you go. Also, I changed the name, or not the name, the uh, voice of the announcer, because I got really tired of that really hyperactive guy. Um, if you go to. What is it? System? You can change the voice. Are you ready to fight? 
So this is the default. Are you feeling psyched? Fuck that guy. I don't like him. He sounds like a Digimon tamer. Prepare yourself. Two arms! I don't like that guy either. Ready for the battle? That sounds Good luck. generic anime. Get ready for combat. Um. Get ready nah, for combat. Nah, I don't combat. like her. Uh, Be careful out there! Way too high pitch. Are you ready to win? Kind of just some lady. Are you ready to fight? That sounds like like a yandere or something fucking creepy. So I went with that because I think that works really, really well. Um, I'm surprised no one's actually Googled my name yet. Uh, Google Translate that. I know that's too strong of a hint. I was waiting for someone, anyone, to figure that out. But uh, you guys didn't, so... Fuck it. I'll just go straight to the punchline of the joke. Alright, let's do this quest. Um... But yeah, what we're going to be doing this episode, and maybe next episode, is just fighting a bunch of crazy shit. Yes, yeah, skip. No, I guess I can't skip. Continue. Oh, I don't want you to tell me about it. What does it say? I just got to go back. What are, well, uh, how about this? I'll be back in a second when I'm fighting some big shit. So as I was saying earlier, before the, the voice popped up, these icons, like the shy guy here, those are guild icons. Oh, that one's going off. Those are guild icons. Um, I just, it's really cool. You get to add a little image to your guild, and that's, you know, your thing. So, if, um, if we can make a guild, which is gonna cost me a hundred gold, um, I can put, like, my YouTube avatar thing down as our, uh, like, next to our names, and we can be an adventurer's guild or something. But yeah, um, so I thought that quest was going to have me go and, um, like, go into this, the Hopalong Dome or whatever, and fight some shit, which is why I have all these tickets, which I guess you use for entering the tournament and fighting things, but, uh, it didn't, it just told me to go talk to this guy and then leave, so I'm just going to fucking go in there and do it on my own. Uh, let's do this. And from what I understand... This is basically... Oh, I got a grocer. My um, goods are worth every basically, it's just uh, go and fight a bunch of shit. Uh, I'm gonna sell all of this useless shit. I'm thinking about trying rifles. I don't know if you can cross-spec things yet, but rifles seem pretty fun from what I understand. Now, I don't know how to do this, so I'm just gonna... How do I enter? Uh, participate in the dome. Okay, yeah, I have tickets. Silver tickets can be used by individuals, yes. Easily obtained, yes. Okay. Golden tickets. Uh, let's see, champions, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I'm here for the solo tournament. He spoke Spanish for a moment, and then a portal opened. I guess we just go into this portal, and now we fight things. So, it's almost time to start. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to summon bosses and we have to fight them. Now, I don't know how well this is going to work. Simply because if I show my character stats, I have no defense. What the fuck are you? Well, you know what? You're going down, that's what. Alright, you already broken? Let's fuck it up. Where's your hitbox? There it is. Oh, let's not be here. I need my buff, and now we're just gonna fuck it up the best we can. Although it is messing me up pretty good. Let's not be standing here. Wait for it. There we go. So, oh god. That normal attack is a pain in my ass. I'm gonna back up and use a potion real quick. We can just kite it for a second, that's fine. I'm trying to always be behind it. Because, uh... You get bonus damage, like I showed you guys in the previous episodes. It's just hard to tell exactly where behind it is. Oh, damn. I mean, I'm getting good crits. Because behind it, I think, is based specifically off of the, uh this perfect center of it, so I want to not be anywhere near the front. That's also a good trick right there, is to dash through it. 
I mean, we got it down to like 50% with very little damage done to us, and we're just gonna pop a shitty potion, and that'll top us off eventually. And this fire blade attack that we have, massive damage can be done with it. Oh god, I just need to be faster. It's uh, it's really pissed off at me now. What the? Oh, it's sinking into the ground slightly. The uh, indicator. Die. So yeah, we're just gonna keep popping up behind it like that. If we can just stay more or less in it through most of the fight. See, look, this is easy. I think we just gotta fight a few of these. I don't know why I went sideways. I think it was because I was... No, it's dead. Nice. So we got a strategist primer. Ooh, I got an egg. That'll be something cool. Okay, I got more dragosite. Um... So I guess we go through that one already. Let's have a look at these things. So I got a horn primer thing. Uh, oh wait, is this... Yeah, it's a... Um, I believe this helped... Yes, it makes my hop along better at whatever class. Uh, this is a strategist one. It's for rifles. And I got Dragosite, which is going to be used for um, evolving gear later. So, yeah, I guess we'll just go to the next one. Is that how that works? Am I done with it? Do I talk to this guy? Uh, okay. I guess I just get to fight one at a time. I don't want to get out of here. I want to fight more things. Um... I know when you're doing a party one, they bring on monster after monster after monster, and it just keeps going. Okay, so I guess we're done. I guess we beat it, and that's our reward. So yeah, that's uh, that's like how you can just like bring in a boss, even though that was a really easy one. Sometimes they have some crazy ones. Can I get like another fight going on here? Wait, let me actually read that. Uh, he's speaking. Spanish and Italian and stuff. Uh, let's see. Take your victory and run, or press on. I'm gonna press on. Alright. We get to fight another one. So I guess it's just gonna continue. Now let me... Did that take an additional ticket? Oh, I wasn't paying attention to how many I had. Alright, we have, what, 14 now? Yes. I don't know, these aren't stacking because... I guess different level requirements? Whatever, we're gonna fight this thing. Oh, it's a six-pack. Billy the six-pack. I fought one of these in a storyline quest. He was actually pretty easy, so... Let's buff ourselves and get in there. He has got some more interesting attacks. He's got like a fucking hyper beam. And then he has this, where he shoots these up in the air. But, I am fairly well acquainted to how he attacks, so we just gotta dodge things, keep ourselves stopped off, and I'm gonna drop in on him after this hyper beam. Oops, shit, I missed that and I got hit. It's their normal white attacks that I need to watch out for more because they hurt. Oh wait, I need to try something. Okay, that didn't work. Um, apparently hitting V allows you to center the camera on the target, but I don't know exactly how it works. I just realized I'm not even checking his health. Let's go over here. It's really hard to see what I'm doing, but trust me, I'm fucking him up. Yeah, I'm not even really, like, taking damage or anything. I'm gonna top off just in case. Die. Get out of there. So yeah, they've got some really interesting fights. They mix it up with some different attacks. Man, that fire strike that I had does so much damage. Oh, nice. I got Venom Sacks. 
that's a new crafting item. What does it do? Oh, it gives me some different gear. Um, it's not really any better than what I currently have. Um, no, nothing, nothing really worth doing. Uh, and it doesn't change the look, right? No, because that's just the outfit. Yeah, I'm good with the stuff that I currently have. Uh, can I just, like... No, I have to go out, don't I? So let's do one more and see what happens. Uh, I can take my running in one run, or I can press forward. Come back when you have four of these. So I must not have enough. Let me look. Four stalker. Ah, so they're different levels. Um, this is level 20, this is level 15. Okay, so I just don't have enough of those. Uh, I'm gonna do these. This will... I guess teach my hop along more stuff? Yeah, it automatically taught it. Uh, what's this one for? This is the rifle. So... I'm just gonna... Oh there, they added rifle to the things that you can do. And I have to give him gear, I guess. To get him to do different stuff. Right now he's got his little axe. I wonder if I can take some shitty, like, rifle or something. I sold a rifle to this grocer. Let's buy that back and see if I can give it to him. <laughs> Sorry, no. Because I haven't really played around with him at all yet. Uh, give me that back. Uh, how do I open his thing normally? P. Okay, that's what I need to press. Now, if I go to my backpack and I give you a rifle, I can just take his gear off. So how do I change his class? It's a level 26 cleaver. I'm not sure how to change his class. I've seen it in the, um... in the hints, but I never really read it. Maybe it's because he's not a first star one? I'm not really sure. There's a switch button here, but it's inactive. So yeah, I'm not sure how it works, but I'm going to have to figure that out later. Um, and I can get him gear, so My in the meantime... Goods are worth every penny. Yeah, give me this. You can have that back. Um, and I don't really care about these, but I'll keep them anyways. Alright, so that was the Hopalong Dome. Um, basically what happens... Oh, look at this fucking crazy looking Hopalong. Basically, you can summon bosses, and you can fight them. You just need those tickets, which you get from doing other quests. Which we're actually going to go do some of those quests right now. So, um, yeah, I mean, that was surprisingly easy.